It was uh, definitely not an easy decision for me to um, leave the African National Congress. African liberation movements have had their time span and uh, I think the ANC's time is just up. The ANC is under attack. You need to defend the African National Congress. This election will be a test whether South Africa moves uh, towards a fuller and deeper democracy or otherwise. This is where it all started. Mbeki versus Suma during the ANC National Conference in the city of Polokwane a bit over a year ago. And Thabo Mbeki, then the president of South Africa, was met with booing by Suma's supporters. A new political climate was born. Suma wetu, Suma. Suma. It was a sad story where a glorious liberation movement was transformed into an organization that lacks morality, that lacks values, an organization that is no longer the shining example of what we've always regarded as the liberation movement that we've been proud of. This is the sad story of what I will conceptualize as the summary of what emerged in Pulukwan. I don't cope before cope was formed, you know. A, a lot of things were going wrong, a lot of things that I didn't agree with. And I think more specifically for me, especially really, what happened on the 21st of September, to me that was the last straw. The future of our people is in our ability to ensure that the Congress of the people succeed, grows and becomes strong every day. Why was there a need for a new party in South Africa today? Well, because uh, we, you know, the, the, because we, we do need a, a political party because we have now attained to, to, to freedom. A liberation organization is an organization for a particular type of task. And uh, you need now a political party to govern the country which will use expertise, which will, uh, uh, which will deliver to the people. And for that, you need a different uh, form of organization. Spolid Lamini is trying to get a few things in order. Her home has been turned into one of Cope's headquarters. With not enough time, nor enough resources, the party is happy for every help its supporters offers. And Spolid herself put her business on hold to help out as a volunteer. Hey, you know what, uh, my business, I'll attend it to it uh, after the election, the general elections. Uh, make it, make it mail. Mail, I yeah. yeah. Planning a conference. Cope is dressing against time, forming party structures and recruiting members. No way in the world has a party started from nothing in so short a period of time. Between middle of November to where we are right now, which is barely two months, we have a a reasonably well-established party. We have something in the region of, um, somewhere in the region of 500, almost over 500,000 members. Um, we have structures in probably every single region right across South Africa. But Cope also has a tremendously strong opponent in the mother party. The ANC got over two-thirds majority in the last election. But the party is today accused of responding to the political challenge with non-democratic methods. The head of the ANC Youth League is considered as the worst. He say he will kill for the ANC president, Jacob Zuma. When people make a turn like that, you become so disappointed. And what do you do? Because the earlier teachings of Marx, Lenin and Che Guevara have always told us that there will be counter-revolutionaries and there will be sell-outs in the process of engaging in a revolution. Revolution or not. South Africa is still a country facing massive challenges. Huge unemployment, poverty, an HIV-AIDS epidemic, lack of houses, health care and education. The needs are huge. Are you coping? Are you coping? This is Deep Sloot on the outskirts of Johannesburg. You must get the forms, guys. You must just say yes, yes. Yeah, they must register. They must never just talk, you know.
Yeah. So do you get many people registering today? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Today is the main day that everyone around this area should register and get prepared for general elections in few months to come. Cope gives hope, they say. But here, hope almost seems to have vanished. My dear, we've been here for eight years in this kind of environment situation. For the whole eight years, nobody cares. The councillor came in this place, but he never acts. That is the problem that we are facing now. And the other thing, we have no toilets. Those public toilets that you see on the street, we are not enjoying them because the whole 500 families are using those toilets and they are un uncontrollable. Diseases as cholera are flourishing in conditions here, not worthy for humans. And people are upset of how the ANC politicians only seem to care for themselves. Oh, it's actually, okay. go, have a look inside, it's actually very nice. Great. Can I tell you the same thing that she told me? Yeah. The councillor of this place looks just down here. He's got electricity. No. No, no, no. He has electricity. He's got electricity. And, and the people here. here. And he lives just not far away from here. But the people here don't have any electricity. But why is that? How is that possible? I just think it's priorities. Obviously, he's looking after himself and not anybody else. We are sick and tired of the empty promises. We understand that from the manifesto of the ruling party, they're still saying they're going to create housing, doing uh, everything for the people. What we are saying now, our hope for change is that COPE will deliver for the entire South Africans. They've been living here for years and they haven't seen change in over two elections. So I think for those who yeah. desperately need change, this is, this is the time for them to vote on another party. And I think that's where we will get our support. In. But COPE is considered to be a party for the middle and the upper class. To do well in the election, they need to get the votes of the poor people here as well. And therefore, they send their party president. <laughs> Tara Lekota used to be the Minister of Defence. He was in the government. And what would he do different now compared to before? One of the biggest needs here is uh, housing, it's issues of uh, service delivery, electricity, water, all of these things. But uh, the starting point must be to ensure that uh, the leadership in this community is uh, committed. And at Spolit Lamine's house, members of the Women Forum arrives, just as in Deep Sloop. The mobilizing of supporters is the prioritized test. And I said, no, if you love COPE, you should encourage your wife to come to the meeting. You must come with your wife. We went to an orphanage house, whereby it housed 18 children who was affected with HIV and AIDS. We donated uh, food parcels and we said we can make it. Mobilizing and yeah. commitment. But no one really know what to expect from the upcoming elections. Mlungise Klongwane was an ANC mayor in Val, south of Johannesburg. He left both party and work to join COPE, to the annoyment of his former comrades. We may be talking about the problems of Zimbabwe as our neighbours in the north. In no time you can actually end up having something similar here. And remember, the leadership of the ANC unfortunately has introduced the culture of uh, political intolerance. I had uh, my picture being banned in public by members of the ANC Youth League as well as the former military uh, veterans of Mkonto Wesizwe. These are difficult elections. The preparations are not normal at uh, this time. Uh, we went to revive old comrades and old veterans. We went to revive them and say, come back, the ANC is under attack. 
you need to defend the African National Congress. People need to realize and understand that we are now fighting a different struggle and a different revolution that, that, that's not built on aggression. Are you sometimes afraid? <laughs> yes, I am. One of the questions, one of the things I, I, you had to be specific about is that this is not going to be shown in a South African television station and I'm going to hold you to that. So yes, there is some uh, level of fear, but the majority of South Africans are really peace-loving people. We'd rather fight at the ballot than fight with uh, physically, or harm people physically.